Hello students and fans of the HorrorTube slash BookTube community. It is I, Coach Stroud. Been gone a little while, but that's okay. Because I have a major, big episode for you here on Coach Stroud's What to Read While Quarantined. Pow, pow. Wow. In this episode, I have to admit, I am so sorry for being gone for so long, but I have a very good reason for why I've been gone for so long, and that is because I have been reading this huge behemoth of a book, Stephen King's It. <laughs> oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, let me just tell you, um, for, the, the, look how big this is over a thousand pages 1153 to be exact i believe uh massive massive book now i'm not a slow reader not by any means um but even with reading about an hour to two hours every single day it still took me like over three weeks to finish this book so it was a major major investment but one that was extremely worth taking or making or whatever you want to say absolutely phenomenal book oh my goodness so good um years ago when i was a kid i saw the it mini series uh, that was very popular i liked the story i liked the concept i thought it was really really neat and like a young kid i thought to myself i get it i don't really ever need to read the book and, you know, I've walked by this book a thousand times in bookstores. I've flipped through it. I've looked at it. I'm like, it's just a whole lot of book to read for a payoff that I already know is coming. I'm here to tell you right now, boy, was I wrong on so many levels. Stephen King's It is by far the quintessential get-to-know-somebody novel. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean, Stephen King goes into such great, masterful detail on so many characters. I mean, literally chugging through their entire life story to get us to the point where we not only understand the characters, we feel like we are the characters. In his Losers Club, there's seven individual characters. Seven? Is it seven? I'm losing my mind here. There's a bunch of characters that basically intertwine together and form this, this, this bond. Now, each character has something that stands out about them. You know, you've got, you've got Bill, who quintessential leader, who has a stuttering issue and has lost a little brother. You got Bev, the lone female of the group, who's basically dealing with issues from her father. Sounds like a lot of teenagers I know, if you ask me. It goes on and on. You got Richie, who's trying to be comedic all the time and get people to like him. Uh, you've got Stan, who just, well, let's just say Stan's kind of, you know, he's he's a scare, he's your typical scaredy cat kid, you know. Um, the characters are endless. It's it's. I mean, honestly, there's so many characters in this book that it can be a little bit daunting keeping up with them. But for your f main cast of the Losers Club, you really get to know who they are as individuals, which is completely awesome because you buy in. You completely, completely buy in with these kids. Um, one of the things that sets apart from this novel from the book series, or sorry, the, the novel from the movie series, or I'm going to speak about the 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 miniseries, not the new movies that have come out, because i got to be honest with you, I only saw the first one. I haven't even seen the second one yet, mostly because I, I felt the first one was good, but it was good, but it didn't have me coming back for more, which is, I guess, kind of interesting. That being said, as it pertains to the miniseries, the first half of the miniseries is basically the kids. And the second half of the miniseries is the adults. What I love about it the book is that it's the kids and the adults all the way through stephen king does a beautiful job flipping back and forth intertwining them to where like one section of a chapter would leave off like mid-sentence and then come back in the next sentence you know of the next chapter in the adult timeline versus the kid timeline and vice versa it was really really cool how he did that very masterful it takes a lot of effort um, I believe he, Stephen King took uh, four, four years to write this book. 
um, with a whopping word count of over 444,000 words. This is huge. Oh my goodness. I can't even imagine writing that many words. Um, but I guess when you're talking about somebody's life and you've got so many main characters going into uh, great detail, you know, it, you, you've got to use a lot of words to, to get through all that. Think about what your life would be like in, in, in a word count. It probably wouldn't even, I know for me, my experiences probably wouldn't even come close to 444,000. Um, but that being said, overall, amazing read. Very good read. Uh, did I find it scary? Not necessarily scary. I found it incredibly creepy and unsettling. Uh, I find that it's hard for me personally to get scared over something. Uh, like I didn't have any nightmares or anything after reading the book here or seeing any of the movies or the miniseries. Uh, but the situations that these kids get into is completely nerve-wracking. It's very, very creepy. And one of the things I, I think that really stands out how Stephen King connects you to the characters here, with going into so much great detail as, as there are main characters as children, you begin to empathize with them on a, on a high level, a very, very high level, uh, because you know so much about them. So because you can empathize with them, you can imagine what you would be like in that situation facing these certain problems. And if that's the case, if you can honestly imagine what you would be like in that situation, that's where the creepiness factor comes in. That's where the scare comes in. That's what makes this book so gripping and well worth the read. Um, it's easy to sit there and just say, hey, there's this killer clown who's much bigger and broader than you could ever imagine who comes every 27 years and kills people. It's another to get to know the characters in such great detail to see their in, their uh, situations with the said main villain or antagonist. Um, and, and just, oh my gosh, it just, to put yourself in that position, that's what makes this book creepy. That's what makes it really chilling. Um, Highly recommend this book. It's definitely in my, I, I'm going to, I don't even know what my Stephen King top five is going to look like ever again, because I've read so many good Stephen King books lately that I'm, it, it's just, it's just really crazy. It's really crazy. That's all I can say. Um, highly recommend, go get it, go get the book, read it, look into it. It's beautiful. It's well worth the read. It's well worth the effort. Please, please, please put the effort into this book. You will not be let down by any levels. It's just so beautiful, so beautifully written, so masterfully done. And I read some comments online where people were like, he could have taken out a few words here and there. Um, out of the 444,000 words plus words that are in this book, I'd say that maybe only about 5,000 could have been done away with and the story would have been fine but that's such a small minute number and and i mean this is a quintessential standalone beautiful novel um would i like to see a sequel to this yeah yeah sequel prequel whatever you want to call it I th i'm pretty sure that the ending is very set in stone and 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 plus the ending of this oh my goodness the ending of this is just incredibly beautiful um stephen king Bill's ending is just, it is, it is just so glorious and gorgeous and, and just magnificent. Um, it's very touching, very wonderful. And I love actually that this, this book has a good solid ending to it. I don't want to give anything away. Um, but would I like to see a sequel to this? Maybe not a sequel, but totally a prequel. Oh my gosh. I would love to see what it was like way in the, uh, in the past. That would be so cool. Uh, will that happen? I doubt it. I don't think it'll ever happen. Uh, so yeah, this is my interpretation of it. Do yourself a favor. Go get it. Go read it. It's well worth it. Ah, yes. I have also been doing, uh, I've been watching a lot of Stephen King programming lately. Uh, this weekend, I watched The Dead Zone, and I will do a review on that in a little bit, which I've never done a movie review on this channel before, so that'll be a first for me. And I'm currently watching the Hulu miniseries, 11, 22, 63. I've got two episodes left out of the eight episodes, and I'm loving that series so much. It's incredible. 
Uh, so I will do a review upon uh, on that as soon as I finish it. And yeah, so a little bit, couple different things coming from me up soon. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for participating in this wonderful book journey of mine. And yeah, just know that I love you guys. I hope you're doing well. And yeah, that's about it. Deuces. We are out. Peace.